better. Okay, so what's this all about? Here's the deal. I got this letter from Texas Scottish Rite Hospital because I'm going to have surgery soon on my back. It's a list of all the stuff my parents and I have to do and know before taking me in for my operation. You'll get one too. Yeah? What about it, you say? Well, I'm really worried. Not about the operation. I'm worried about what could go wrong if we don't get the admission stuff right. You, you gotta see it from my point of view. That's mom and dad. They're really great parents, and they love me a lot. And that's the end of the section. My homework is done. Maria, we are really proud of how good at math you've become. And we love you a lot. Great, but nobody's perfect, right? And in case you don't realize it, kids kinda know where their parents could use a little extra help. Like dad can definitely get lost in his own world. Sweetie, can you help me make a decision? Sure, dear. What do you think? About what? You are not paying attention. Which one do you like? This one or this one? Oh, they're both nice, dear. You are no good when the game is on. Let me see. And Dad is really good about putting stuff off. I still think the flowers are too tall. Oh, not a problem. I was planning on cutting the yard next week. Oh, and Mom, she forgets things sometimes. Look, I'll show you. Hey, Mom! Yes, Maria? I can't find my yellow top. Just a second, dear. Hello? And then when she hangs up... Now, what was I going to do? <sighs> Silly me. Of course. Maybe I can fix this. Much better. So, when you look at this letter and see all the important stuff that mom and dad have to pay attention to and remember to do on time, the right way, it makes me wonder. Well, now I think you understand. Look, I'll read some of this stuff for you. Before leaving home, talk openly and honestly with your child about their fears and anxieties and discuss the hospitalization process. I like that because there are some things about the surgery that worry me. Hey, Dad, it says here that you should talk with me about Why don't my... you talk to your mother, dear? She's a better talker. Uh, Mom. Honey, not right now. I'm kind of busy, okay? They say that talking helps comfort your child and eliminates unfounded fears. Well, I suppose we can talk about it in the car on the way to the hospital. Then it says that after the operation, you should get involved in your child's care as much as possible. Your participation in bathing, feeding, reading stories, and playing games gives the reassuring message that life goes on as usual. Hmm, that sounds okay for little kids, but I think I'd like to have life go on as usual in a different way. How is that, sweetie? Pretty good, but a little bit more to the right. Oh, sure. After I'm done with your massage, I'll finish your homework. You comfortable, sweetie? Very. Gosh, that would be supportive. Oh, well. So, here's a list about what parents are supposed to pack. They say that it's good to let your child help you in deciding what to pack. In my case, I've got a feeling that what I pack could be the only things I show up with. Let's see. Mom, I need my pajamas, bathroom, and slippers packed. I will get that for you, dear. And I need clothes to go over my cast, Dad. Uh, okay, well, we'll get that going in a few. And comfortable shoes. What was I looking for? What was I looking for? Oh, Mom. I need my toothbrush. 
toothbrush and stuff. Oh, I will get that for you in one minute. And, Dad, I want a good book. I don't think they allow you to cook, sweetie. Honey, I don't know what I did with the extra toothpaste, but I will be right back, okay? There are also some things you should bring for admissions day to help things go smoother. Let's see. Stuff for babies like diapers and formula, my medicines that I need to take that day, and a few snacks. Yeah, we definitely need snacks. Sounds like admission day could take a long time. So at least we'll be prepared. Oh, oh, about the stuffed animal. I wouldn't really pack that. I just imagine that for the sake of the little kids watching this. That's all. Oh, speaking of little kids, it says here that you shouldn't bring any other kids to the hospital, just me. It says that I'm going to need all my parents' attention and reassurance. <sighs> that sounds nice. Oh, and it says here, don't bring jewelry or valuables. <laughs> Ooh, here's a scary one. It says it may be necessary to reschedule your child's admission if certain illnesses occur. Call your RN coordinator if you notice any of the following. Whoa, I don't feel so good. I can't believe it. After that long drive to get to the hospital, now we have to go home and reschedule the surgery. I told you I had a sore throat and earache two days ago. But we didn't know that wouldn't get you admitted. But the letter said that. <gasps> That's right. I wrote down to call the RN coordinator. I guess I lost that reminder. But you knew, Dad. Yeah, you're right. I guess I just wasn't focused on it. Well, maybe I do get to the hospital in good health. In that case, we go first to the appointment desk. According to this letter, it's on the sea level, where all the fun stuff is. I have three forms I need you to fill out for me. It's our HIPAA privacy notice. That's where you check in. To start with, they're going to want you to sign some papers. Uh, yes, we're here for my daughter's surgery. Your name? George Marie and Dolores. <clears throat> oh, Smith. We have your appointment set for 1 p.m. It's now 4 p.m. I don't think there'll be enough time to fit everything in today. Uh, well, see, that's really not our fault. I couldn't remember where we put the keys. That's because I lost track of time and worked really late last night. And when he got in, I was doing the laundry. And I was so tired, I forgot I left my keys in my pants. Which got washed and folded and packed. So we tore the house apart looking for them. And when his clothes got all dirty because he was climbing through the bushes... Looking for the keys... I told him to go change into some clothes I had just packed and... And you found the keys in the pocket. Well, I'm really sorry about all of that, but we'll probably have to reschedule the surgery for another day. So I guess that puts us on the road again. Great. Another day off of work. Another sitter for the baby. And, and a, a whole, whole lot, lot of driving. driving. Well, maybe we'll be early. Hmm. So let's see what's next. Looks like we'll get a printout at the appointment desk of all the places we'll have to visit. The first stop for everyone is admissions in a place they call Zippity Zebra. Whoa, looks like mom and dad will have to bring lots of important stuff to Zippity Zebra in order to be admitted. Here, look. First, there's this legal looking stuff. And then there's all this way important medical like stuff. Oh my gosh, I can see it now. I'm taking medicine after having surgery. I get up from bed to use the bathroom and... Oh, I have a tail! It's from a reaction I have to the medicine because my parents didn't bring all the complete information about my medicines and stuff I'm already taking. Oh my! We make sure that parents bring us all the information before we schedule the operation. But it's left up to them to tell us everything. 
Well, I've never seen anything like this before. That's why it's important that we know exactly what each patient is taking, such as medicines, vitamins, supplements, herbs, lotions, and creams. But what should we do? Well, you need to make sure that your parents keep your medical records updated for medical visits. No, I mean, what should we do about the tail? Well, perhaps now we can all get on Oprah. Cool. My parents always say I have a vivid imagination. But it wouldn't be so cool if somebody's parents really do forget to give the hospital all that kind of information. I guess a kid really could have a reaction if the doctors didn't know all the medications that they are taking at home. So where was I anyway? Oh yeah, Zippity Zebra. Cool name. Here's how I picture it. Okay, well, we're going to get started. Um, did you remember to bring your information we asked for? Uh, yeah. Yes, I did. I have it in here. First of all, parents give them all that important information. Put it in here. I thought I put it in here. Uh, this purse is so big. I can never find anything. Oh, this is a... Uh, and then they check your kid out. Check. 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 Chic. Do you have any questions? Ah, uh, yes, we do have a question. Honey? We do have a question. What was it, dear? Well, it was your question. Well, I don't remember the question, honey. What was it? Oh, well, I'm not sure. Hmm. Whoa. I guess with everything going on and everything that's on your mind, it's best to write down your questions ahead of time. As long as you remember where you put that list. Well, so anyway, that's Zippity Zebra for you. Oh, yeah. And they remind you about bringing snacks because you might miss your lunch. That's because, depending on what your child's doctor needs, you may have to visit lots of other places in the hospital. Someone from Zippity Zebra will show you where you need to go. Hey, I think I'm going to imagine it'll be just like that tour we took on vacation before my brother was born that Dad has on the home video. The radiology department is one of the highlights on the tour. Then there's occupational therapy. And physical therapy. Okay, next, the lab. They say you should discuss this with your child before you come to the hospital so they won't be afraid. Okay, who's next? The problem with my family is... <laughs> we're all afraid of needles. Maybe there'll be someone at the hospital who can talk to me about not being afraid. And that would be the very nice people in the child life department. And then the last stop on your very fun family tour will be your child's room. According to the information, you may get a private room or you may share a room. You'll find out that day. It also says that my parents can stay with me in my room. Cool. I can just picture it. It'll be like that time Dad tried to save money when our whole family and aunt and uncle and cousins all stayed in that one little small room at the beach. And I can't get any sleep. Yeah, guess that's why they say here that only one parent can stay with you. Didn't see that before. And they say that your child has to sleep in the better crib, while you get to sleep in the chair. Then the letter has some stuff in it about where the other parent can stay, like hotels, around a McDonald's house. Well, now comes the really scary part. No, seriously. This is where they talk about infections, and they see how it's the parent's responsibility to make sure that my wound, 
that's my operation cut, stays clean and doesn't get infected. But here's the thing. Our family isn't too picky about stuff like this. Like, you should see the weird goo I found in the back of our refrigerator the other day. I guess we just don't worry much about germs. The problem is that there are germs all over everyone's hands. No! No, don't come any closer! But I just want to give you a hug. No, I don't want to be infected! And I just want to change your bandage. <laughs> X-Tree, X-Tree, read all about it. Child infected by zombie germs. Loving caregivers held ultimately responsible for poor hand hygiene. Whoa. That is a scary thought. I don't think anybody would want to get me infected. But I'm just not sure everyone really understands th this germ stuff. So anyway, we're almost done with the sweater. Looks like they may have saved the worst for last. It's about falling and that every single patient is at risk of falling and hurting themselves. And there's this big long list of things to pay attention to. Like, what if we forget to keep the rails on the bed in their highest lock position and wheels locked? I'm toast. <gasps> I forgot to put the side rail up! Don't let your child lean out of bed. I thought she could reach the floor from the bed. Call for help if your child feels dizzy. Don't those dizzy spells just happen when she's in bed? Wear non-slip footwear. She was only going across the room. Keep safety straps on when in wheelchairs or on stretchers. And stay with your child while on an exam table. She couldn't reach the joystick with her belt on, so I thought it was okay to take it off. Report liquid or clutter on the floor. I thought someone else had reported it. Honey, Mom and Dad are here. Hey there, we've been waiting for you. How did I get here? Well, they brought you into this room after the surgery, but we'll be taking you to your other room upstairs in a few minutes. Uh, but, uh, did I hurt myself falling? Or, or did I get infected? Or did I grow tail? <laughs> no, honey, you're, you're perfectly fine. But, what about all the stuff the letters say you had to do to keep me safe? Well, I guess we did everything all right. You're safe and sound. Right, honey? The letter? Oh, yeah, the letter. Oh, yes. Your dad and I read it through, and we did everything it said. Wow, you guys are good. <laughs> we make a great team. I love you. We love, we love you, you too. too. Wow. This is totally cool how everything worked out. Not only did my parents get me through the operation with no problems, but they kind of turned into super parents. Weird. Guess it's because they love me so much. Like mom and dad told me that they were double checking stuff for the nurses because the hospital wants you to ask questions and tell them what concerns you have so that you can be a real partner. And they asked the doctor a lot of questions. Even told the doctor that they had concerns about my medication. Whoa! Okay. Be careful. Ready? I'm all packed. Oh, wait a second. I have one last thing to do. It says don't leave the hospital until you know these things. Well, what things, honey? Well, uh, a list of home medications to take, uh, the date of our next clinic appointment, home care instructions, uh, when you can return to your normal activities, stuff like that. We don't want to take any chances, so I'm going to go check with the nurse. I'll be right back. Dad? Mm -hmm. Thank 
Thanks for taking such good care of me. You bet. 